What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fallout for Mods for the PS4. Today we're going to be taking a look at three mods. And the first mod is called Red Lightning Gun for the PS4 and it's by Invoker Gray. Now all you have to do to find it is come over here to the Watts Electronics uh, building, Watts Consumer Electronics. It's right over here on the map. Uh, you can see like as a reference there is Diamond City and uh, there would be Watts if you don't know where it is already. But now that you know where it is, let's go inside and take a look at the gun itself. Let's go retrieve it. You could find it inside of here or if you have have the uh, QA smoke testing room you know the uh, developer rooms it's in one of those as well um, but if you just want to go over to this location instead and you don't want to download a separate mod um, for console then just go over here and uh, you will find it so just jump down this hole initially you know straight off the bat right at the front door jump down here go through here and this door will be locked yes it is okay go over to the terminal open this up just like that simple very very simple and it will open up and there it will be so there is the weapon the furious invokers tesla rifle and i am being attacked by something i think there it is it's a rad roach you are now dead and i hurt myself and the gun flew and there are it right, so there's some ammo over here tesla rifle automatic barrel oh no that's never those are mods i thought though. <laughs> i thought it was ammo uh, but now that we have the weapon, let's go out over to Diamond City and we will test this thing out. Alright, so now we're here in Diamond City, but before we actually go ahead and kill people, I just want to show you guys the weapon itself, just a 360 degree view of the gun. It's literally just a red paint job on it. The same weapon you guys know and love, um, it's seemingly the same fires an electrical discharge that arcs between targets and uh yeah you can see the damage over there is 71 and all of the other stats right there now we did pick up a bunch of weapon mods as well so if you guys want to apply those you can uh but that's pretty much it let's use this and uh let's screw up some people in diamond city in all honesty i think it does look a little better um with the red paint job it's just maybe that's just me i really do like the color red um but if you guys like the color as well you know definitely Definitely check the mod out. It's really cool. I definitely like it. Um, and I think you guys might like this one as well. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it for the mod. Literally just a retexture. So go check it out for yourselves. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's take a look at the next mod, guys. I will see you there. All right, guys. So the next mod is called Coastal Cottage Overhaul Modern Villa. And it is by Mad Rocks. Now, the required DLCs for it are all of the workshop DLCs. Um, and... This is pretty much it. It's over here at the Coastal Cottage location, and it pretty much replaces the entire thing. Now, I'm showing you guys at night. Unfortunately, it is pretty foggy, but this is where you get the best effect of looking at it because it has these blue lights on it, and it just, I don't know, it looks a little nicer at nighttime. Now, I'm just noticing this right now. Uh, okay, so I think those are there, a part of the mod. I didn't notice that uh, when I first saw this place, but uh, either way, I did give it a look through. Now, this mod does state to not fast travel to it right away from downloading it on your first time here because it may screw some things up with the mod, and that has, I'm pretty sure, happened to me. Um, so we're going to go through, and I will show you guys what I mean by that. So this is the outside of it, and um, yeah, I do apologize for some of the things you are about to see uh obviously certain things are not supposed to be here in this mod um but anyway we'll get to that in just a second so this is the garage area um and there is a lift that will come down to you and there is a workshop here if you hold down the touchpad you will be able to open up the workshop menu and uh build stuff here and uh fill it up because it's pretty empty straight off the bat um so yeah, you'll be able to fill it up with things that you would like to fill it up with. Uh, now that's the entrance right there to the main area, but we're going to go over here first. And you can see that there is a, um, what is this, a recruitment beacon right there. And uh, that is the room where the workshop is in, and there's a bunch of other stuff inside of there. We'll get to that in a little bit. Um, now, let's go down over to here. So around this area, down these stairs, you can see there's an empty like patio area, um, and there is a button right here to the waterfall. It turns it off and back on again. Now, the mod author said that you could turn this off if you would like to, and there's one inside. I'll show you guys in a second. And you can turn them off if there are some frame rate issues. You could just see if maybe that will fix it. 
So that's there uh, just in case, but I think it really looks nice with the waterfall on anyway, um, and I haven't really noticed too many like frame rate issues in here anyway. So over here, there is another open area. You could maybe put some chairs down out here, you know, do whatever you would like to do out here. Uh, but that's pretty much it for the outside. Uh, for now, at least, we're going to go inside. And uh, I really love these doors. Now, you're going to notice this a lot throughout the house. Uh, these doors that just slide up. It's really awesome. And I wish a lot of other player homes or just mods in general, whatever, would use them. But you can see in here now, I've gotten rid of a lot of the debris that's in here. And um, maybe before you download the mod, you might want to come here uh, to this area and just clear out the debris. Because you can see there is like, you know, some shrubbery sticking through the ground. And as we go through, you're going to see like, well, first off, there were some raiders in the area as well. So they spawned in the house. I don't know if that was intentional or just because I didn't clear it out beforehand. Uh, but anyway, you can see there's some vines over here and I do apologize for that and there's some other stuff later on that you're going to see. Um, but yeah, I, I, I do apologize for that being like that. Um, I screwed it up. I tried fixing it. I just don't know how I, I've tried reloading, reordering it in my load order, but. I don't know. I screwed it up. Uh, hopefully you guys don't have that issue. Anyway, that's pretty much that. So over here you can see there's a button for the fireplace and uh, you can turn that on. Looks really nice. And then over here we have some firewood. Uh, you could scrap it if you want, but I just decided to leave it because it looks really nice. You know, I like that fireplace right there. Uh, and this is the living room. Is this? Uh, yeah, no, there's no button there, but there's the living room. We got the TV over here and uh, there is a door right around here that leads just outside to this little balcony area you can get a good view of the outer area right over there again excuse the fog but going inside again let's take a look at the rest of the place so we'll get to the kitchen area in just a second because there's something really cool with that area that i would like to show off last but over here again there is a waterfall you could turn on and off if you would like to i'm gonna leave it on looks really nice uh then going in over here we have the bathrooms uh, and there's two of them again with the cool sliding doors now you're going to notice over here unfortunately we have some debris sticking through again and i do apologize for this to show it off like this it, it's really annoying uh, i'm sorry that you're not really getting the full effect of what the mod is supposed to look like i would imagine that this is not supposed to look like this so again i do apologize for this i couldn't scrap this or get rid of it i was able to scrap a lot of the debris that was initially inside of here once again i do apologize for this um, you know dirt and whatnot being inside of here but uh, if you guys do manage to get rid of that and uh, not have this issue when you are here on your own playthrough you could press this button for the pool to open that up and you can go for a swim inside of there and not only that but there are lights over here that you could turn on and it's sort of like a fireplace on the wall which looks really really nice in my personal opinion but you can go down here and swim around again there is in my unfortunate case there is some debris down there but i do apologize for that anyway going through up here we have a box car door opening that up brings us to the workshop area and uh you know chem bench all that other stuff um, so that's pretty much that, and there is a door actually right here. Leads to the outside, not much really to it. Just some garbage cans and, you know, you can walk around out here. But yeah, that pretty much leads around to this side over here. And, uh, yeah, let's go back through the interior over here. Uh, with this door. Okay, there it goes. So this loops back around and there are some stairs over here that lead around to an overlook of the pool. Going up these stairs, we could see that there are some more rooms. So let's take a look at this. We got this room over here, which seems to be a sort of master bedroom or maybe like a workspace, but with a bed in it. I don't know. Um, but we got a like office desk right there and a tree again I'm sorry uh, and then there is a pinball machine which I've never seen in this game before I don't think I've ever uh, at least I don't remember seeing a pinball machine in Fallout 4 so that's pretty cool that's over there and we got some beds over there as well and then going through over to here we have a bathroom now this bathroom really gives me the vibes of a uh, like a Bioshock place just I don't know it looks really cool I really like this uh, touch. Just the bathroom really reminds me of Bioshock for some reason. But anyway, going through to the rest of the place, we have this room over here, which is the master bedroom, seemingly at least. Um, it's a very 
It's pretty open, and then you have the big TV hanging, and uh, if you activate the television, it doesn't seem to do anything. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that. And then we have this overhang right over here. Gives us a nice view of the ocean, if there wasn't any fog. So then going out of there and into the rest of the place, we could see that there is another room over here that you could build in. And don't worry, you will not fall. There is glass protecting you right there. It just gives you a view down to the bottom level. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. We have a walkway over here again to see out this side of the house. So that's awesome. And then going into here, we have another room which leads out to the same, uh, pretty much the same thing but on the other side. Now exiting these two rooms over here, we have this door, which gives you a free set of X-01 power armor for yourself, and there is a The Deal Breaker uh, mini nuke launcher right there, a fat man, if you will. We'll take those, and we'll try that at the end of our tour of this place, but that's pretty much that for over here. Now going down into the kitchen area, this has to be one of the coolest things about this mod. I really do like it. Now you can see there is a button right here that says party button. When we press this button, it literally turns it into a party room. You can see that this table over here comes out and this area opens up. There are speakers that are on and there are, you know, the radios playing and uh, we have a little bar going on. It looks like a nightclub in here and this is really awesome. I really like this. You can see that the curtains close and it just looks all dark in here and really cool. Looks like I'm ready to go to a rave or something like that. But you could close it again just like that and um... I'm kind of tempted to jump in there, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. And here is the deal breaker. This is the weapon we literally just picked up. Uh, let's try it out, I guess. So here we go. Let's uh, shoot it at the window. See what happens. And yeah, just looks like a pretty standard mini nuke. Um, it actually looked like there were a few other explosions there. I, hold on, let me... Let's try that out again. Hold on, let's shoot it at, like, the ground over there. It looked like there was a bigger explosion. Or maybe not? I don't know. It seems to be the same. Nothing too different, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this mod, guys. I really, really do love this mod, and to see it get filled in, if anyone, you know, I'm sure many of you guys have played with this mod, maybe if you're watching this, maybe you haven't, I don't know, but I know a lot of people have probably used this mod already and filled it in, and it made it look really nice, and um, I, I once again, I do apologize for, you know, showing it off with such a... Um, you know, all the debris there and whatnot, it's obviously in an eyesore, but uh, I, I couldn't fix it, and I do apologize for that. But anyway, guys, that's it for this mod. Let's take a look at the next one. I will see you guys there. All right, guys, so the last mod is called Shezri's Fenway Apartment, and it is by Shezri. And now to find it, all you have to do, go over to Diamond City and walk from there over to this blue door, and it has its own custom map marker. Just go here, and you can go inside of the Fenway Apartments. So let's go inside and check it out. So now that we're inside, let's go up these stairs and take a look at this place, which has to be one of the best player homes that I've seen in a really long time, and you will soon see why. Now, I am a big fan of static objects being inside of the player homes, and you can see that there's going to be a lot of that in here. You can see when a static object, if you don't know what it is, um, I'm sure most of you guys know, but it's pretty much you can bump into things and they won't go flying off the place. You can't pick them up or anything, and I love that because it gives you more decoration and it makes it so that things are a lot safer on your shelves and I really do like that and it's gonna come into play a lot over here so you're gonna see a lot of it and uh, so just going through this is what the place is now there are a lot of fully labeled storage areas and you're gonna see that we have stuff for instant mash mac and cheese sugar bomb yum yum eggs everything we have mute fruit melons down there razor grain everything uh, we have a fridge that opens up and you could put soup in there, Salisbury steak, and I just love the organization of this place. You could store your Nuka Cola down there, a stove that you could craft at, and uh, just some more static objects over here. And I really do like this touch, the coffee mugs on that little rack right there. I always love seeing that. Just looks really cool, and you could see that we were cutting up a mute fruit, maybe something like that. Just going through the rest of the place, though, you could see this is the um, second level, and this is the living room area. We have a magazine rack right there some more static objects on display and uh, a spot to put your liquor so that's awesome right there and a radio you could turn that on 
And uh, going up inside of here, we have the main bedroom, so more storage. There's a trunk right there. You could put some stuff inside of there. And going into this room really quickly, we have the bathroom. So that's pretty cool right there. You could put stuff in the hamper. And then inside of this next room, we have the closet area where you could store clothes. Uh, we have spots for dresses and spots for just regular clothes. And up at the top, we have a spot for your hats and uh, also suits right there. And two safes on the wall right there for your valued uh, unique items as well if you want to put them inside of there. Uh, and then over here we have a computer terminal with a very lengthy lore, so I'm not going to read through it here. You guys could pause it if you would like to and read through it for yourself. But this is, this is a very big backstory on the place, and uh, it's, it's a good story. If you guys want to give it a good read through, you can pause it right here. So there you go. A little bit more move-in day. Some more stuff like that. Success. There we go. And the next one, and there are a few more, one more after this, and we are done. So there you go, just read through that if you would like to. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much that for over here. We have some dressers, and going up to the final floor in the attic, we have this area. Now, this area is one of my favorite, and th this spot makes me want to make this my player home the most. The, my, my, I just want to make this my personal player home just for this reason, and we're going to take a look through. So we have a spot to store all of your armor right there, and there is a weapons workbench, a trunk right there, armor workbench, power armor station, and then going over here, we have have spots to put all of your rifles, shotguns, melee weapons, miscellaneous, plasma energy, pipe, pistols, and then a themed storage for grenades, mines, mini nukes, and nothing down there. I thought that would be something. <laughs> but we have spots for themed, like themed storage spots for ammo. You can see 44 rounds, all of that stuff. Shotgun shells, 5.56. All of that. We have spots for your missiles. Plasma cartridges, cryo cells, gamma rounds, fusion cells, flamer fuel. We have a bobblehead stand right there, chemistry station, and over here we have everything from herbal remedies to rat away to all of your chems. We have Comex, Buff Out, Day Tripper, Medex, Psycho, Mentats, Jet, all of that. Just themed storage, and it's amazing. One of my favorite player homes I've ever shown off. I just, actually, whoa, I just noticed this right now. You can see it says drugs right there as a sign. That's awesome. And just not only is the fact that there's all this theme storage and, you know, there's the static objects. It's simple. There's not, it's not a massive building. It's pretty small and compact. I really like it. It's believable, kind of pre war -y, and I really do like that feature as well. So I definitely think this is a mod you guys will enjoy as well. So definitely go and pick this one up because it's honestly one of my personal favorite player homes and I think you guys would like this one as well but that's pretty much it for this mod and the video guys if you did enjoy please leave a like follow me on Twitter and if you guys are new feel free to subscribe and uh, yeah check out some of the other videos I did actually make a playlist for all of the Fallout 4 mods if you guys want to check that out if you haven't seen any of the other videos yet go through the playlist I made it this video will also be added to that playlist and you can see the evolution of the series and where it has gone and just everything like that so if you guys want to check that out go ahead and do that I've been asked so many times to make a playlist and I've just been lazy I've never done it but now I finally have so um, again thank you guys for all of the support still um, and I, I just can't thank you guys enough for you know I'm, I'm still gaining more subs now the fact that I've returned and I honestly didn't think that you know you guys would still enjoy watching the videos so I do appreciate all the support from you guys I can't say it enough so thank you guys and uh, yeah that's gonna be it for the video guys I will see you in the next one peace out